All right, everybody, welcome back to my channel where everything's homemade, Texas made all the time. I got a good one on the menu tonight. I got homemade lasagna, baby. Y'all gonna love this one. I'm gonna do it step by step and I'm gonna have the ingredients in the description. But before I get started, if y'all could please go ahead and like, comment, and share. And if you ain't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you get those uploads straight to the phone. But this is what you're gonna need right here for this bomb homemade lasagna. You're gonna need for the meat uh, meat sauce. We're, I got an old fashioned ragu, and then I got a mild Italian sausage, and I got ground beef, and then I got to season it up. I got coarse black pepper, and I got oregano, and of course I got my favorite. I got Tony's, and uh, I'm gonna be uh, cooking off the meat with. Uh, some sweet bell peppers, and I got fresh bay leaf, and I got some uh, sliced mushrooms over here. And then over here, the second part is gonna be the white sauce. And the white sauce is gonna be ricotta cheese, cottage cheese, Parmesan cheese, and parsley chopped up real fine. That's for the second part. Then the third part is gonna be the cheese mixture, which I got sharp cheddar and I got mozzarella. We're gonna mix them all together. So let's go ahead and get this started. Let's go to about in the kitchen right now, baby. I got homemade lasagna coming, baby. Let's go, woo! All right, y'all, here we go. So step one of making this bomb homemade lasagna, we're gonna wanna go ahead and brown up the ground beef and the mild Italian sausage. Right here, I went ahead and seasoned my meat up with a little bit of salt, coarse black pepper, and Tony's seasoning. Okay, so we got the Italian sausage and the ground beef all browned up, fully cooked. And next, we're gonna wanna go ahead and drain the grease. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave a little bit of grease on the pan and so I can saute my veggies. So I got my sweet bell peppers and I got my mushrooms and I'm gonna go ahead and saute them off. While the veggies are sauteing, I go ahead and add uh, Tony's and coarse black pepper and keep sauteing them up. Okay, so we got the veggies all cooked off. Next, we're gonna have to go ahead and transport the veggies into a, a pot, because we need more room to add, you know, the, we're gonna add the meat back to it and we're gonna add the ragu sauce. So we need to transport it into a bigger, into a pot. So I got my pot right here. I'm, I put the veggies down in there. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and ground, get the ground beef and the sausage and mix it in there with it as well. Then next, we're gonna keep mixing though, get them all nice and combined. Add a little bit of more Tony's, a little bit more pepper. And we're gonna go ahead and add the ragu sauce next.
Okay, so we got the ragu all mixed in there. Next, we're gonna ra uh, that was oregano I added to there. About a half a cup of oregano. And then I got uh, some fresh uh, basil. I said at the beginning, I said bay leaf. I meant to say fresh basil. Sorry about that, y'all. And we just keep pulling little pieces off and throwing it in the pot. And then we keep mixing it all in there as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and let this meat sauce sim simmer for about 10 minutes. All right, I had forgot to add garlic powder and onion powder. Alrighty, so my meat sauce has been simmering for about 10 minutes or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. And our next step is gonna be the white sauce. So that was our first step, and now this is our second step. We're gonna go ahead and add the ricotta cheese down there. And then we're gonna add cottage cheese. And then I chopped up some fresh parsley. I chopped it up nice and fine. We add that to it next. And then you get a whisk and whisk it up. And then I had forgot to say at the beginning we add four eggs. I forgot that's a part of the recipe too. We had need to add four eggs to the white sauce mix. So there's my four eggs. We're gonna mix it all in there with everything else. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna mix everything up real good. Get everything nice, mixed, and well combined. All right, so the third step is the cheese mix, which I'm using sharp cheddar and mozzarella cheese. So we mix it all together in this bowl, and there's your cheese mix right there. Alrighty, so our last step is going to be layering everything in our oven pan right here. But if we had a fourth step, it would be to boil the lasagna sheets. But I took the easy way out and I got the oven ready lasagna sheets, which are already pre-cooked and everything. Just got to throw them in the oven. So I took the easy way out on that one. But that would be your fourth step if you wanted to boil them. But if you wanted to do it like this, you could just go ahead and start layering it in. I put the meat, a little bit of meat sauce on the bottom so it wouldn't stick. So I added that first and I added my layer of lasagna sheets and then my meat sauce. And then I'm, I'm adding my white sauce right now. And after the white sauce, you're going to add your cheese mix with the sharp cheddar and the mozzarella. Put a good amount and then repeat the process. Lay down three lasagna sheets and just keep repeating the process. Add the add the meat, add the white sauce, 
and then add the cheddar and then add more lasagna sheets and just keep building it up. Alright, so we got the last step done. Now we're going to want to go ahead and throw it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. And then you got this when it comes out of the oven. This is what it looks like. Some beautiful homemade lasagna, baby. So we're all done with this homemade lasagna, y'all. Woo! Oh my God, look at it. It's so good. Look at this thing. Look at that. Just beautiful. Woo! Here we go, baby. We're gonna take that first bite of this monster lasagna, baby. Here we go. sauces and the ground beef and the mushrooms god that ragu sauce it is perfect get some of that mushroom right there mmm y'all y'all are gonna love this recipe I have the recipe in the description so y'all follow that step by step and y'all have some homemade lasagna from scratch baby so that's the way y'all want to do it. So y'all come back and see me. I'm always have these recipes coming, baby, all day long. So y'all come back and see me, baby. Texas, babe. <laughs>